What's up guys, how's it going and welcome to the Mina channel. A quick little bit here today, discussion regarding some very big news I think for a lot of fans of JRPGs, particularly Nintendo JRPGs, because we have now uh, some rumors and leaks pertaining to Xenoblade Chronicles 3 could possibly get announced this year and it supposedly is in the final stages of development uh, but it may be pushed due to some production issues you know there's COVID and everything like that so what does that mean for the future of the Xenoblade Chronicles series and I'm just kind of interested on this I am actually kind of really interested on this I have played the first um, Actually, let me just kind of rephrase that. I have only played Xenoblade Chronicles, the original one, that I played it on the Switch as a remaster. And I've been a fan of the series since then, unfortunately, because of my schedule, work, and um, other life situations. I haven't been able to play the uh, sequel of Xenoblade Chronicles, which is the second game. So I heard this announcement and I'm like, this is very exciting. I am actually very excited for this. I, I will be thrilled to see how this can turn into a completely different game of the sorts. I really like when games are able to kind of, uh, they, they obviously do, you know, the sequel thing. But uh, one of the things that is interesting about this series is that typically the games take place far apart from each other. They're not like super close to each other on like time frames or anything like that. In fact, most of them, uh, well like the two of them that I know of, like they they have like completely different character cast and they are the references to each other, but then you can still enjoy the experience of the game by itself. Um, Funnily enough, it seems like this one is going to take far in the future after Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but there will be some returning characters. That is interesting as well. I don't know what it means again, but I'm very excited. I, I just wanted to kind of talk about the news a little bit and everything. I don't have a lot to say about it because, again, I only played one of the games, but oh boy, did this game really made me tear up and, and think and have emotions about it and everything. It was definitely a very interesting piece of media that I never kind of, uh, you know, there's very few games that I play and it makes actually makes me cry. There's some games that like, I'll play and I'm like, hey, that was a cool experience, you know, but I don't necessarily like uh, feel a lot of emotions at all. And this one just made me feel a lot of strong emotions when it came to like the writing characters. And I'm just very excited to see how that's going to turn out. So let me know in the comments below, are you excited for this game? Uh, have you played any of the Xeno Break Chronicles games before? Uh, again, just kind of curious of what the overall consensus on this is. I am uh, particularly excited myself again, but uh, I don't know. I, I would like to play the second game first before jumping into the third one. Or that X one, I think is... Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, I think it's for the Wii U or something like that. If that one could be uh, ported to the Switch, that would be fantastic so I can go play it. But anyway, that is pretty much it, guys. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.